um, challenging times demand innovation and there is no better partnership uh, than operating lotteries uh, on uh, operating lotteries and the suppliers uh, the example of how some of these lotteries quickly went digital and those who were already digitally invested in better customer experience uh, they introduced new games so this is for everyone to see how we have done it in the last uh, you know couple of years India has a very unique situation, multiple states, uh, multiple languages, uh, multiple subcultures and uh, in addition it does not have uh, monopolies uh, which are there in lotteries worldwide. So there is a huge competition that drives innovation, that drives efficiency. So this is a very different scenario in this country. GST was a huge challenge uh, for the industry and la lottery was uh, treated like a luxury product and uh, you know the rate of uh, taxation was 28% in place of a regular 12% and there was a time in between when uh, you know different states I and mean, if you do a gameplay within a state that would attract a different taxation if you do into another state that was uh, that would be taxed differently so it was a kind of a chaos, uh, you know, uh, definitely Skill Rock had to uh, shift gears, uh, predominantly from high frequency Kino kind of games to Lotto and Raffle kind of games. So, so these are, uh, I mean, you have to learn uh, during these times. Uh, we have to first understand the source of uh, regulatory challenges. They originate from uh, uh, changing uh, regulatory uh, legislative environments, that which can be moral, ethical, whatever the interpretation may be. And uh, changing social and personal settings where players, player behavior is changing. So, uh, you know, in short, uh, what does our regulator typically need? They want to know, they want to know more, they want to control more, or they want to regulate more. And uh, today, all this is uh, data points driven. So, like data analytics, uh, artificial intelligence, software control models. So, all that uh, is something a uh, supplier has far more technology at disposal these days, and they can definitely support uh, the operator in such aspects. Skill Rock is quite different uh, when it comes to you know how we approach uh, the architecture, the deployment, etc. So uh, today, what we have is a fourth generation product, uh, you know, uh, called Infinity. And uh, the brief to the software architects was that uh, you create a design which meets uh, the lottery operator requirement anywhere in the world and uh, they have come up with a brilliant design that's a microservices based architecture and it can meet the requirement of uh, any any operator be it a developed market emerging market any challenge uh, you know everything is actually taken care of and uh, the variety of games variety of hardware variety of integrations that the platform supports is uh, unimaginable one has to really see to believe it and uh, another major difference is like um, you know every software uh, you know house in the world you know has a development center in India and we develop uh, in our software labs are located here uh, we can we can uh, we definitely suggest and we do we deliver deep level of customization so uh, 
what a lottery operator gets is what they need and not what you have manufactured. So there's a major difference. COVID has taught a lot of lessons and it has uh, accelerated uh, adoption of digital uh, and some of the operators have gone much beyond. They have, uh, they're focusing on customer experience, they're uh, able to, to uh, analyze each player behavior, uh, you know, in a, in a much better way. Uh, at the same time, the technology availability is also rapidly changing. We have a very deep level insights, analytics, uh, artificial intelligence, blockchains of the world. So, you know, the technology availability is also uh, quite a lot. The biggest challenge for luxuries is going to come uh, from, uh, you know, uh, from interesting uh, contents, games. Uh, which need to attract young adults and uh, that's going to change a lot and uh, again you have to change the approach uh, in, the, in the old times it was one shoe fits all uh, that was the approach today we have to come up with more regional more personal um, you know choices so the growth will come and uh, operators have to start thinking you know out of the box and uh, we are there, we are there to help. We have a lot of uh, technology tools at our disposal. Uh, innovation has uh, no boundaries. Uh, it can be process uh, innovation, it can be marketing innovation, uh, it can. So it's not restricted to uh, technology, but technology is the enabler so uh, if the operators are uh, willing so uh, uh, I mean the suppliers can deep dive into current and future challenges uh, engage with uh, innovators uh, within uh, each operator uh, I hope such interactions increase uh, very soon uh, the traveling becomes easier and uh, I'm sure everything will be back on track. Uh, going uh, away from traditional thinking, if uh, you know, there are economies of scale, uh, the operators uh, can should be open to consider more than one supplier at a time. Uh, we operate in uh, you know several jurisdictions where retail post point of sale solution is provided by say supplier A, uh, digital solution is uh, provided by supplier B, and say scratch card solution is provided by supplier C. So the operators have to think without any artificial barrier in their mind. Uh, assume that integration is between systems is something that uh, the suppliers are obligated to. And uh, these days, it's not a rocket science to integrate between two systems. Uh, it's a simple API integration between two suppliers. So they have to think it uh, that way. Uh, we uh, yes, it's uh, happening. Uh, we pick up uh, the best of the point of sale uh, solutions uh, uh, from the industry. We uh, print scratch cards at the best of the facilities. Uh, we pick up uh, the sports data feed or any content which are again the best uh, in their class. And uh, you know we have a choice to pick up uh, whatever is the is the best. So uh, there is a need uh, to change the thinking, uh, not create uh, firewalls around us. Uh, uh, and, uh, similarly, the operators can also play a role. Uh, they can start engaging with uh, more uh, solution providers. Uh, so this definitely calls for a change. Uh, 
there are different uh, class and uh, category of players. So some are aspirational, some are dividend seekers, some are fund seekers, and some of them want everything. <laughs> so um, this is a matter of uh, demographics, uh, economics. So uh, every every operator will find different uh, challenges. Uh, so uh, again, you uh, uh, an operator should consider that there will be some difference in the players that are coming to a retail shop and the players who are playing digital, they ha may have different needs, slightly different or substantially different. Uh, so an operator can, has to be open to introduce uh, different type of products, I mean games, you know, which attract different uh, player segments. And uh, similarly, a uh, technology provider should offer absolutely seamless solution uh, to attract a different class and category of players. Uh, going beyond uh, the strict uh, lockdown period, uh, retailers and their live livelihood are very important. Uh, so we have to come up with uh, you know touch-free solution that gives confidence to players. And uh, as an alternate in India, we uh, have uh, we run commercial and uh, payment services under a brand called Payworld. So these pay, uh, retailers were uh, considered as essential service provider by the government because they were dispersing uh, aid on behalf of government and uh, we also have to expand the possibility uh, of uh, alternate revenue sources for retailers uh, and uh, we also have a solution called uh, offline affiliate that uh, provided opportunity uh, for the retailers to engage with the players, top up their wallets, etc. So we have to think uh, out of the box. Uh, many players will adopt uh, digital and uh, omni-channel experience uh, will be the key. key uh, and, uh, so uh, we have to think, uh, you know, of common user experience. Uh, whether the player is uh, going to a retail outlet or mobile using mobile app, the wallets have to uh, work interchangeably. Everything gameplay experience have to be similar. So there will be a lot of hybrid approaches which would be required. The outlook has to completely change in terms of content. We can't have uh, just a retail only or digital only uh, approach. Three important things uh, come to my mind. Uh, the first one uh, being that as a responsible supplier, uh, we have to stop any direct or indirect uh, engagement with uh, any operator, any supplier who are operating illegally or in grey markets. So that's number one. Number two being that uh, solutions like uh, second chance of winning or surprise draw they can hit uh, in illegal lotteries very hard, so you know we can we can introduce them uh, through the operators. Um, the third being that uh, the operators should also geofence themselves. We can definitely provide that solution, and so that it becomes not only difficult to play but also difficult to obtain draw results. Uh, because these are misused in other jurisdictions, so these three things can help. Skillrock uh, offers complete uh, suite of uh, digital transformation services that uh, includes uh, consulting, advisory, solution uh, to the to the operators who have yet to go digital, 
and those people who already have a digital solution uh, you know we can definitely provide better customer experience uh, involving the whole uh, life cycle uh, registration gameplay uh, player engagement support uh, you know definitely they can enrich on these elements uh, we have implemented quite a few project during this covid time uh, and uh, they involved both uh, new projects as well as scaling up our um, older clients uh, and uh, all of uh, them are very very happy and uh, we also offered uh, uh, better digital contents to the operators so that the gameplay is more interesting the player is more engaged um, because they are facing a lockdown situation Our uh, parent organization, uh, Subil and Damani, uh, are very, very well known for their corporate social responsibility. They are uh, very specialized, so we contribute through them. Uh, it ranges from medical care for the needy, so that uh, uh, is like ophthalmic, cancer care, uh, uh, school rebuilding projects, uh, hundreds of them. Uh, adoption of uh, complete villages for alternate energy, solar, wind, um, awards for the caregivers uh, so that it becomes a catalyst in the society and uh, to my mind uh, there are more than 2 million such beneficiaries 